Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be working with some air plants. And so I have this big one here hanging beside you. And we're going to be looking at this one and talking about ways to get to this guy to bloom. But before we do that, I've had a few of you asking about an update on the video where we sowed some air plant seeds. It was about two months ago. And I just wanted to show you guys this. So, here are some seedlings that I sowed, and they were in the last video. These are probably a year old, maybe more. They were from last year anyways. Coming along nicely, um, growing mainly upright, and yeah, doing quite well. But this is what we sowed together. So, this is a blade of grass, which I'm going to pull out now, because who needs a blade of grass? My greenhouse door just closed because it was open because it's so hot in here. But look at the seeds that we have. So many, many have germinated. Um, many, many more to germinate. Well, maybe not many more to germinate. I don't, I don't know. Um, it looks a little bit sort of slimy in there. That's still from the white fluff that was on there. So this is the um, Capita Select. I wrote it on there. I'm pretty sure this is the one we did the video on. It was a clear container anyways. So I'm pretty sure that was it. And this is just a bed of sphagnum moss, no drain holes, and I keep it soggy and then let it just sort of dry out and repeat. Um, when they're small, I try not to let it dry out for too long, but these guys here, they, they dry out quite, um, quite significantly before I rewater them, and they seem to be just fine. Air plants grow really slow, so that's a good year away from being um, the size of the other ones anyways, but <coughs> yeah. So they are coming along nicely. I do have a couple more trays of air plants here. You can see the um, little seedlings starting to germinate. These are, one is a tricolor, and the other is a more capita select. I think when we did that video, it was the first, it was the first um, group of seeds from there. So we sewed them together in there. And then I looked at it a, about a month later, and it was just like loaded with seeds. So I did another um, one just here. And they've also started to germinate. So a few different kinds of little air plants, and they all seem to be doing well. I can't say that any of them die after germination. But today I wanted to talk to you about this guy here. This was my very first air plant. And it was about a, <coughs> excuse me, a single, um, single plant, about four inches. And it has become this. You can see the tag there. It's not my writing. It is a cross, a hybrid. Um, I will try to read it. Let's see. Aranthos cross burgeri. But anyways, so this thing has been growing into a big ball. You can see it's got some significant size to it, but it has never bloomed for me. So today we are going to try to force this guy to bloom. Um, we're going to shove it in a bag and put an apple in the bag. And as the apple ripens, it's supposed to release ethyl ethylene gas, which is supposed to force things like air plants to force them into bloom. So I want to see if we can get some flowers on this one. And we're going to have to do it the hard way. Um, I've never forced anything to bloom before, so this is sort of a first for me. But it's supposed to have beautiful blue flowers, so this um, coming into bloom all at once could be quite, quite wonderful, quite spectacular. So, the other thing that I have got here, I'm going to hang this back up to make it easier. And it'll go right there. And the other thing I have is just a big clear bag. So I'll tilt the camera that way a little bit so you can see it. I have got a bag that is technically too big, but... Um, I'd rather have too big than too small. And we'll see how this sort of goes here. So I'm going to shove the apple in the bag. And so as that apple ripens, it is going to release the gas. And I'm going to cover this just like so. Now, as I say, it is a little too big. What I'll probably do is I'll fit it onto here. I'm going to do it with quite a bit of air. I have a zap strap in my hand. And I'm aiming for the hook that it is on, not for the um, not for the line, but for the actual hook. And I want to get it around the hook if I can. Now, 
bear with me. I've never, never done this before. So we'll have to struggle through getting this bag done up together. And see if I can get this zap strap around it even. I have no idea how long this is going to take, but, um, all right, so this is not working as it is. Let's just try it like this here. I got to get to the end of the bag. These are the bags that um, I use when I want to give a, a Vanda like more humidity. I'll, I'll bag up just the roots with this. They work good for that sort of thing, but um, Good thing I was hanging this air plant first and I think what I'm going to do with it is there we go that's perfect I think what I'm going to do with this air plant is bring it into the house now that it's in this bag this bag has formed sort of a mini greenhouse on it and if this bag was to hit the Sun in here it could get really really warm in here so now that um, the apple is in place and the gas will start to get released as it's ripening I don't think it has much to do with light or anything like that we're sort of forcing the issue now so yeah um, I don't know how long this little experiment is gonna take but um, I'm gonna bring it in the house maybe put it in um, my office or something I put a, I got a new grow area in there which one of these videos I will um, bring into my office and show you my little grow area in there I'm gonna put it in there and we will just wait and see um, could be a week, it could be a month, but um, I will keep you posted on this. So, fingers crossed, we can figure out how to force air plants to bloom. Anyways, I hope you liked this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.